Canva photo editing tutorial, how to edit photos on Canva. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with editing photos on Canva. So let's get into it. Now I'm going to be honest, The in terms of color or color values, shadows, all those options, you have all the basic options in Canva, but if you're looking for detailed photo retouching, that is a different thing. So if you're looking to retouch your photos, you might not be able to do that with Canva. However, if you're looking to edit your photos to convert them into more interesting things you want to add text other elements sparkles other items then canva is definitely a good option so to get started you can just click on your for you section and you can click on custom size and choose a basic empty canvas to get started from if you don't want to get started from your canvas and you just want to upload your photo you can just click on the top right over here click on choose files and let's say this is the photo we want to edit you can just click on this and click on edit photo and what this will enable you to do is just directly edit like so uh you can see over here they have a bunch of different filters now what i like to actually do is i like to take the photo and click on use in a design because you're going to get all of these features in the design section and it's a little bit more easier to use it's uh you know a lot more uh interactive you could say so once you do that this will open up the photo in a canvas like this now we can begin editing. So first off, you can click on your photo and then once you click on your photo, you're going to see a uh, section called edit image on the top left of your screen. You're just going to click on that. Now below that, you have multiple different options. First off, you have a background remover. Now this is amazing for making YouTube thumbnails or just, you know, removing the background for items. And this is a pro only feature. So for this feature, you do have to upgrade to the premium version of Canva. Below that, you have multiple different adjustments you can make according uh, to your personal preferences, like the brightness, the contrast of the uh, picture or the saturation as well. Below that, you have filters. So if you click on filters and you click on see all, you have multiple different filters you can use to enhance the appearance of your photo. Now, if you click on a specific filter twice, you can actually increase or decrease the intensity of a, a video or even a photo. So photos are simple. Even if you wanted to do this entire thing with that video, you can follow these exact steps and do that as well. Now, I have increased the intensity by a lot. And you might be wondering, this looks a little odd, but I'm going for a specific kind of aesthetic for this photo. So once I have done that, you can scroll down and you have multiple different tools. So you have auto enhancement tools, you have auto focus tools, and you have blur tools as well. If there is anything that needs to be blurred, you can actually click on restore and blur and you have a blurring brush as well. So you can choose to blur certain things as well, like so. And you can choose the intensity, the spread as well. And I'm going to cancel this. This is just a sample, but you also have blur features. Then you also have smart mockups. If you want to provide mockups for your business, uh, you can also do that. And below that, you have photogenic. So these are also some more filters you can use to further enhance your image. You also have filters that are uh, Colourpop filters, monochrome filters and multiple versions of those. You also have paint effects you can add so it looks like it's a painting. You have bad TV effects, you have colour mix effects, you have trippy effects. And if you click on the trippy effects, you can click on any effect that you like. You can say you want to do radiate opal or this mirror mood stones or whatever effect you might want to do let's say we want the radiate effect so you can just click on this twice and then you can see the amount and you can really make it very less intense if you want you know a very minimalistic effect and you can also choose the angle at which the effect will be applied and you can create super interesting images with that as well. You also have a liquefying tools where you can melt the images and make it look wobbly, like it's melting or something. Below that, you also have things such as vision stimulators, pixelate effects as well. So if you want to pixelate your image, you can also do that. Uh, if you click on the pixelate one over here, we have multiple different options such as pixelating, pelleting, polar, 
matrix dotting the image. So if I click on pixelate over here, I can actually double click and choose how I want the pixels to appear, if they should be horizontal pixels or vertical, and how dense should they be, like so. So if you want a really light effect, you're going to actually have a very high amount and the lower the amount you put in, the less pixels will be on the screen, hence the image will be more blurred. Now, after that, we also have face retouching options. This is still in the beta version. You can click on use and it will apply a automated face um, retouch. You also have specific options like smoothing the skin, whitening the teeth and removing a red eye. So you have some of these basic features you can do in terms of correction, in terms of, you know, photo correction. You can also do that. Then you also have shadows, frames, geotune, screen, slice and prism effects that you can add into your photo. Now let's say I want to add some more sparkles and I want this to be on top of a canvas, not just the photo. So I'm actually going to click on copy and then click on paste and you can see the entire image will be paste. So I can just click on the size of the image or just click on crop. And this will actually crop the frame as well because this image is directly linked to the frame because, you know, the image is the frame. So if I click on anything, it's not going to work. So for that, you actually have to go into your pages, click on your uploads and you will find your image uploaded and then you can resize it however you want. So let's say I want to resize it like so and I can place it right at the center like so because I might want to add a frame and then I can click on my photo I can click on edit image as I was editing the previous one like this and I'm also going to add the rest of the effect so I also want a filter so I'm just going to go into our photogenic filters and we're going to add this whimsical filter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the element section and I'm going to search for retro. And I'm going to click on graphics over here and you can see there are a bunch of different items. Now, let's say I want to go with a vintage one. So I really like the vintage elements and I want to add some of those. I'm going to take this one over here resize it click on this and click on send to backwards i just did a right click and then i clicked on send to backwards because i want to include these kinds of elements in the back i'm going to put this in a full size send to back and now i'm going to add old recording so i'm just searching for old recording and i'm just going to take this or i'll just search a little more actually i think i'm still gonna go with this and i'm going to place it like so and I'm going to rotate this to a 90 degree angle. And I have such an amazing and beautiful image. Let's say I want to add some more elements over here. Just to further the aesthetic, I'm just going to search for a vintage stamp. And I'm going to take a vintage stamp. So I'm just taking anything I want. You have a bunch of different options. I'm just searching for relevant items like this. And I think it looks pretty good now. So once I have completed my editing, I can just click on share over here and I can choose how I want to share this. I can copy the link. I can share a view only link with other people and I can just click on this over here to download this as a JPEG or a PNG. You can even download as a PDF. The reason why it's showing me MP4 options is because I added like a GIF uh, element over here but this element is uh, purely for decorative purposes and I, even if it's not you know blinking I still have only added it for you know just to appear as so so I don't mind a uh, non-blinking version so I can just click on share click on download and download this as a jpeg and once I have downloaded this image I can just open it up or you can even share it with other people so if I click this this is our edited image so I hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our youtube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video